It's a technological journey. If you haven't started it or aren't far down it, they, they need to accelerate that if they want to take advantage of the tool. I think the biggest challenge for partners this year is going to be the learning curve. I think every business needs to make sure that they have a good strategy, whether that's an AI strategy, whether that's a security or a growth strategy, this all fits into that. Every business needs to have a solid plan to be successful. It's a pivotal moment for the industry and for business in general. This is the next frontier, and those that have really embraced that, I think they're gonna be the ones that benefit the most. And so if you're gone down the journey to modern and you're running on modern Microsoft products, you get a lot more value out of it. So I think for customers that haven't embraced the cloud, you're missing out. Data governance in Office 365 is not easy. It's built to be an enterprise product and the data governance layers are all enterprise focused. And you go look at the documents and we'll go ask your data governance officer what we're doing with this. Well, you're a 25 person company working with a 15 person MSP. That's a hard skill set. And then you've got to go find all the data, classify it, make sure it's in the right spot. I think these co-pilot readiness assessments are going to be great. I think they're going to go smooth. And what we're going to come out of that with is now I know my risk to some level, but I know what I don't know. And I don't know how to quantify that and fix that. I think it's important just to sit down and have an honest discussion about what is the business direction? How do we fit cloud and cyber and AI and other technologies like RPA? How do we pull all of that together and produce better business outcomes? I think the first piece is, is going to be education. And I would encourage everybody just to start with small groups, pilot groups. I think it's going to fly off the shelves once people realize what they can do. We just all have to make sure that we are maturing and taking measured steps forward with it. As we look at the entire year and our entire initiative, helping our customers make that digital transformation into the cloud, into modern security, moving into SaaS apps, that is still the name of the game. That's still our primary focus. At the end of the day, people want to have a good balance between their work, their life, but they're also interested in driving growth and driving technology. This is a, a great way to kind of step back, make sure that we've all got a really great plan around that. I'm a big fan of PAX8, and the main reason for that is partner enablement. As PAX8 works with partners, providing the right education resources, the opportunities to learn, having PAX8 be able to help us in pro services and enablement within our customers and really help us get there. This is such an amazing opportunity. It's an opportunity that's, that's right in front of us and we have to take advantage and we have to figure out a really great way to grow our businesses from this and to grow our customers' businesses.